we're a little disappointed. Lisa Horn is a member of the Manchester Regional Youth Hockey Association. She says she was surprised to hear Governor Sununu was requiring mandatory COVID-19 testing for players, coaches, volunteers, rink staff and referees before they can return to the ice on October 31st. We were hoping that he would adopt the recommendations, the revised recommendations from the reopening task force. The task force called for the tests to be just recommended, but Horns Association has had to make quick adjustments to follow the governor's orders. Our, our president, Steve Belmore, secured a, a mobile testing site at our location pretty quickly that will be able to offer rapid tests to our families this week um, at no cost to them. But not all leagues have found a solution. I don't know how we're going to do testing. Bill Flanagan, executive director of the Hudson-based Northern Cyclone, says he too is disappointed in the governor's decision. I mean, if you're talking about testing somewhere around 30,000 people, which we kind of estimated that's what it's going to be, um, not only does that, you know, that just seems unfeasible. Uh, it's going to create anxiety. The risk was to lose the entire season, but we didn't do that. We just took a pause, hopefully hit a bit of a reset button with some new guidance and uh, recover at what is still uh, could be a very long and very successful season. And now the tests can either be PCR or rapid. People will be exempt if they tested positive in the three months prior to the hockey pause, which began on October 16th. Reporting in Manchester, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.